Hi there. Welcome to this tutorial where you're going to learn about the basic data type which are offered by Java. Uh, let's first look at the numeric data types. The numeric data types offered by Java are byte, short, int, long, float, and double. Okay, that's a lot of them. Um, the basic integer types are that's oh, those are the ones which can store one plus one or minus one zero anything that is an integer uh, those are byte short int and long these are in the increasing order of their size sizes let's see what their exact sizes are a little later also we'll look at what are the maximum values they can contain but basically here let's j just look at how you are declaring it so it's basically byte space b short space s int space i uh, based on your programming requirements you either choose one of these integers so as soon as you have decided that you need an integer the next thing you need to decide is based on the size uh, integer is 32 bits byte is just 8 bits uh, based on that you decide which one to use so that's the integer uh, data types that java offers the other two data types you are looking at right now highlighted are floating point data types that's basically something which where you can store a 4.0 or a 4.05 5.15 uh, the most important thing about this is uh, these variables the precision of a floating point is not exactly right in java that means if i store if i try to store something like 4.3 internally java might store it as 4.2 9999999 so that's something which you need to be careful about using this basic data types uh, basic floating and double data types in calculations um, java has an alternative called big decimal but that's for a different class altogether uh, for now let's focus on float and double uh, float re represents a less precision kind of a decimal point and the double stores a little more precision I mean, it allows you to store a bigger numbers than float. Uh, the next data type which Java offers is character. Uh, it's called char, C H A R, and C H A R. Uh, the difference between a numeric and a character is the way you create constants. Uh, all the character constants should be declared before between single quotes. So single quote, the character constant and the double quote. Obviously, since it's just a character, it, Java will not allow me to uh, add two characters in there. It's single character. So that's basically all about character. Uh, let's look at the size and all the stuff about the character later. The other basic data type which Java offers is Boolean. That's basically something which can store a true value. So now this holds the true value or something that can store the false value. So that's basically all the basic data types that are present in Java. Let's now look at a couple of methods which will help us print the size of the primitive data types. So all that I'm doing is doing size of byte. All the primitive data types in Java have something called a wrapper data type. So all the primitive data types have something called a wrapper class. So a byte has a wrapper class called big B byte. Um, this actually represents gives you more information about a byte. So for example, what is the size of a byte? How do I know that? I can use the big byte. Uh, that's how I would call the wrapper class. So from now on, if I say something is a byte, it's small byte. That is a primitive data type. And if I say something is a big byte, it means it's a wrapper class. So I can use the big byte class to find out the size of a small byte. So if I say byte dot size, it gives me the size of the small byte. And if I do big short dot size, it gives me the size of the short uh, data type. And similarly, integer, long, float, double, and character. So for now, let's just try uh, the other tests which are present in here are to print the max and min values if you look at this thing it prints the minimum and maximum values of primitive data types in java uh, similar to the size value all these big byte 
big shot big integer classes offer min value and max value that gives you an idea about what are the minimum and the maximum value that you can hold in the byte so let's try running this and see what happens so uh, let's first look at the console output show you console and if you look at this console output which is printed from this two methods which we have just seen you can see the sizes of the different primitive data types you can see that the byte is 8 bits uh, short is 16 bits integer is 32 long is 64 float is 32 double is 64 character is 16 uh, the other things which we can see is the maximum and minimum values that each of these can hold so if I want to write a program where I want to store something uh, if my range of values can vary between 0 and 10,000 then probably I would go with short uh, but if my range can be up to a million probably I would go with integer if I want even bigger numbers then I would probably go with long um, similarly you can see here the ranges of float and double characters actually uh, are kind of uh, unique like all the characters in Java use Unicode so you are actually seeing the characters uh, space is actually zero and this is the character uh, 65535 whatever it is so uh, the other tests that we would see in here are actually uh, methods inside the wrapper classes that's the big classes big boolean has a wrap parse class parse boolean this helps us to parse the value and get the uh, get a boolean value so if i parse anything which is similar to true so uh, a true or a true small it returns me back true so if you look at the asserts i'm asserting it for true any other thing other than a true probably something like uh, even something like true 1 or true 2 anything would evaluate to false so those things I am asserting using assert false uh, the other methods which are present if I am having a string with numbers I can actually use parse int method so similar to parse boolean in boolean there is a parse int in integer there is a parse float in float and parse double in double there are similar methods present in all the wrapper classes that's the big classes which help you to uh, parse the values out of a uh, uh, out of a string. Uh, you should always be careful about uh, exceptions being thrown. For example, over here, if you look at it, parse int of 12.5. 12.5 is a float, and this would throw something called a number format exception. Let me just remove this expected thing and let's run this test and see what happens. Right click run as jm test i'm just running this test for now and it would fail because 12.5 is not a valid input for this particular class so i can since i just want to illustrate this i can actually now go ahead and put expected is equal to exception this is basically telling that i'm expecting an exception from here so that's good that's what would happen so now i run this test it succeeds uh, the next things that you can see are a few utility methods which are present in the big character class that's basically you can ha you have a method which can check if it's a digit so is digit for this would return me true if i do a is digit on a it's not a digit really so it returns false and the other one is is letter this would return true whether it's big a small a any of the letters that capital Z whatever any of the letters it would return a true and it would return a false for anything other than a letter so let's just run this also and oh, that's good so that's all uh, there is to learn about um, basic data types in Java and the different wrapper classes you have learned what are the sizes what are the limits and what are the utility methods that are present in the various wrapper classes uh, hopefully this uh, will keep you in good stead as we move on to learn a lot more about Java. We are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated, don't forget to click 
the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.